I'd like to start by saying welcome. To our returning students, that's welcome back to school. And to our new year seven, that's welcome to Ignield and to a fantastic new stage in your learning. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought challenges for all of us. But the positive news is that from September, Ignield will be fully open to all students, five days a week, and that across all year groups, we'll be offering a broad and balanced curriculum taught by subject specialist teachers. In order to make that work while keeping everyone safe, we've made some changes to the way the school runs. These video messages are designed to help parents and students understand those changes. It's vital that you take the opportunity to watch all eight messages so that you know what to expect when school restarts next week. In the newsletter of 17th July, I set out the full list of controls that we put in place to keep your child and our staff as safe as possible and to reduce the risk of transmission of the virus. Those controls are described in more detail throughout these messages. For now, I want to focus on our two biggest changes, which are the bubble system and social distancing. Government guidance makes it clear that the overarching principle of these two controls is to reduce the number of contacts between members of our community. The guidance is equally clear that bubbles and social distancing are not alternatives, but that a balance of the two measures needs to be reached according to the context. At Icknield, each year group will be its own bubble. This means that we will significantly reduce contact between students in different year groups. For years seven and eight, we have also implemented timetable changes so that, for most lessons, students will work in their tutor groups. It's vital that students return to school understanding that, where possible, they should not interact with students from other year groups. In a later video, we'll explain how the bubbles will be kept separate throughout the school day. Of course, some interaction between bubbles is unavoidable. For example, teachers will continue to work with students in all year groups in order to deliver the full curriculum. Here, official guidance recommends the implementation of our second key control, social distancing. This means maintaining a distance of at least two metres between individuals in the way that many of us are accustomed to doing in shops and public spaces. Social distancing will apply between students from different bubbles, between adults and students, and between adults themselves. Just as it's crucial that students know not to interact with members of other year groups, it's equally important that they understand the importance of keeping two metres from adults in the school and from students in other year groups. We will all need to be respectful and tolerant of other people's needs and situations. In accordance with government advice, Face coverings will not be required in school, but we recognise that some students may wish to carry a mask, perhaps to wear on the bus, for example, and we ask that they are stored safely when not in use in order to reduce the risk of contamination. Similarly, whilst members of staff won't be required to wear a face covering, some may wish to do so depending on their circumstances. As a wider community, we have shown that we can adjust quickly the measures I've just described, and those outlined in the remaining video messages, might have sounded extreme even six months ago. Speaking to you in August 2020, I have every confidence that you will fully understand the need to be scrupulous in applying the relevant controls. We need everyone's support to keep our community safe. While COVID-19 has been a focus for many of us over recent months, I am confident too that with these measures in place, we can all refocus on the main purpose of coming to school. To learn, to explore, to be challenged and to encounter new opportunities. I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next week at the Welcome Back meetings on Thursday the 3rd of September. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy the last week of the school holidays.